Well, we are joined this afternoon by uh, Sally Chambers, member of the Dari IU uh, Board of Directors and Digital Humanities Research Co Coordinator at the University of Ghent, and by Ron Decker, the Director on Open Science at the Technopolis Group. Uh, thank you for joining us. Um, if you could perhaps describe um, your work in the context of uh, SHOCK. So yeah, Dari EU was one of the core instigators of the Shock Open Marketplace, which mm -hmm. I think is one of the key exportable results within Shock. Mm -hmm. And Cesla was the coordinator of the Shock project, so we had quite some work uh, in preparing the the call, bringing all the partners together. And once the project started, we had to coordinate and monitor which wor work package was on track and which work packages need a little push. Uh, now, we are having this conversation, of course, at the end of the project, after the final conference, and we've heard a significant amount over the last few days about, of course, how SHOCK is going to live on the next stage of SHOCK in terms of sustainability. What comes to mind for both of you, perhaps, in terms of one success story and one challenge that you still perceive ahead? Well, for me, I think one of the success stories has been really bringing the infrastructures together in the first place. So I think that is not something to be taken lightly. Shock has come together really well, but it is bringing together different research cultures. But I think that is the time we've needed to bring the, the, res the different research infrastructures together, different research communities together. So I think that has been the success story, but also the challenge as well. Yes, I, I, I agree, the bringing these cultures together. Um, and one success story is that in the project we started with one or two research communities. But during the project, three or four joined, knocked on the door, said we want to be in, even without budget, but we want to learn what's going on in the project. I think that that was one of the big benefits of, of the project. And I think one of the, the, well, it's not necessarily a challenge, but the next step is to move forward. So we become the shock open cluster. We've got the MOU signed um, by the five uh, founding infrastructures. And then as uh, we had the call earlier today to open that up to new partners. And that is really moving forward to the next phase. Yeah, I think that that was also big serendipity, if, if you want. The clusters that really started working and even between the clusters, there was a, a lot of chemistry and we, we decided to join and to have uh, bi-weekly meetings just to inform each other what's going on in the other clusters. So multiple clusters, multiple disciplines, um, mm -hmm. projects really on the aegis of uh, transdisciplinarity. Um, how does that look in this future collaboration in the context of EOSC Future? Well, I think the science clusters are a real core part of that because, of course, without researchers using EOSC, EOSC is going to be nothing. So the science clusters are really important. And I think, well, for me, as, as a newcomer to the EOSC Future Project, it's being understanding what each of the science clusters are doing because, I mean, nanotechnology is very different to literary studies. So it's understanding what um, each of the clusters are doing. And the shock conference has been really excellent to be able to come together after two years and actually, ah, this is what we're doing. Very interesting and uh, understand how we can work together. Yes, you can see that in the EOS Future project, even more different cultures coming together. The, 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 the science clusters uh, are as Sally says, uh, they, they bring in content and uh, combined with the technology and bringing in the users. This should uh, the, the, this project should realize the EOSC, and and you need users as well. Otherwise, you you will ha end up with a platform without any use. That's thinking of the users, thinking of the the researchers, and uh, the this project's call for cross disciplinarity. Um, what would be your call to researchers, to potential users, uh, when it comes to shock in terms of benefits and opportunities? Is there anything that sticks out to you in particular? Well, we're very lucky in EOSC Future, it's been sort of thought from, from the beginning. So we have these things called interdisciplinary science projects, which are really opportunities for researchers on the ground to bring together their cross-disciplinary research. So I think the science projects, if I've understood correctly, is they have to come from different uh, scientific clusters and look for the interconnections between them, but really for the benefits of the day-to-day -day 
day-to-day yeah. -day research. You can see that in the value added of, of the of the EOS, which is the cross-domain work and the composability. So you can construct new data sets ba or tools based on what is already there. And this is uh, explicitly asked for in the science projects. Either you work together with two or more clusters, or you work together as a science cluster with an e-infrastructure in order to make new ways of using the in uh, high performance computing, for example. Mm. And I think this will also show to other researchers the possibilities of doing uh, work, doing research in EOSC. I think we're all looking forward to the road ahead. Uh, well, thank you very much for your time, Ron Decker, Sunny Chambers. Thank you for your invaluable contributions, both of you, to this project. And uh, hope you get to enjoy the end of the conference. Great. Yeah. Thanks very much. Thank you. Thank you.